Petticoat Junction was a classic sitcom that aired throughout the late 60s. It was filled with lovable characters, including the main family members and the wacky inhabitants of the town around them. There were several changes to the Petticoat Junction cast throughout its runtime. The alterations didn't always go over well with fans, but they weren't enough to stop them from coming back. Today, syndication has introduced Petticoat Junction to a new generation. Keep watching to learn how each Petticoat Junction cast member died, and how the surviving cast members carried on after the show ended. Edgar Buchanan Edgar Buchanan was born March 20, 1903. He quit his successful career in dentistry in 1939 at age 36. He wanted to give acting a try, and it went well. He then signed his practice over to his wife. He appeared in over 100 films and even got to play a dentist in the 1941 film Texas. He's better known for his TV roles, including Hopalong Cassidy in 1952 and Judge Roy Bean in 1955. He also played old Uncle Joe Carson on Petticoat Junction and appeared in 16 episodes of Green Acres. He earned the lead role in the 1971 series Cades County, and his final acting role was in the 1974 film Benji. Edgar Buchanan died after suffering a stroke on April 4, 1979, at age 76. B. Benedaret B. Benedaret was born on April 4, 1906. She began acting in 1940 and hit her stride in 1943. By then, she'd become the main female voice actress for Warner Brothers' supporting characters. You'll hear her in various Merry Melodies and Looney Tunes shorts. She also voiced Betty Rubble on The Flintstones. B's career got another boost when she befriended Paul Henning in the late 40s. He was a scriptwriter on the radio show Burns and Allen and helped her get a role on the George Burns and Gracie Allen show for almost 300 episodes. B was even Lucille Ball's first choice for the role of Ethel Mertz on I Love Lucy, but couldn't take the part because of contract disputes. She did guest star in a first season episode called Lucy Plays Cupid. She played Kate in Petticoat Junction for several years until her death from lung cancer on October 13, 1968, at the age of 62. She was replaced by June Lockhart, but ratings declined throughout the show's final two seasons. Frank Cady Frank Cady was born on September 8, 1915. He began acting in 1947, and his big break came with his role as Doc Williams on 78 episodes of The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. Frank played general store owner Sam Drucker on Petticoat Junction. He was also working on Paul Henning's other shows, Green Acres and The Beverly Hillbillies, making him the only actor to have a regular role on three sitcoms at the same time. His final acting performance was in Return to Green Acres in 1990. He lived his final days enjoying life, traveling, and spending time with friends and family. Frank Cady died at the age of 96 on June 8, 2012. Pat Waddell Pat Waddell was born on July 12, 1944 in Winthrop, Massachusetts. She played Bobby Joe in seasons one and two. They also used her musical talents in the show. She recorded a song called The Ladybugs that was a play on the style of the Beatles. Pat eventually left to pursue a music career. She toured with Jack Benny and recorded an album, but never became as successful as a singer as she had been as an actress. Pat died at age 71 on September 29, 2015, after a decades-long fight with breast cancer. Meredith McRae Meredith McRae was born on May 30, 1944, in Houston. She was the final actress to portray Billy Joe on Petticoat Junction. Her true big break came in 1963 when she earned the role of Sally Ann Morrison on My Three Sons. She went on to have a fruitful career in the 70s and 80s and was a frequent contestant on game shows like Hollywood Squares and Match Game. She even hosted a talk show called Mid-Morning Los Angeles in the 80s and won an Emmy for it. Meredith was married three times. Her relationship with Richard Berger lasted from 1965 to 67. She married Greg Mulavey from 1969 to 1987. Her final relationship was with Phil Neal, and they were married from 1995 until she died. Meredith McRae died at home in Manhattan Beach, California, on July 14, 2000, at the age of 56. Ruth Davis Ruth Davis was born on December 2, 1908, in Vinson, Oklahoma. His career began in the 30s and 40s. He played Floyd Smoo on Petticoat Junction for five years, and then returned as a guest star in the show's final year. He died of unknown causes on December 13, 1974, at age 66. Smiley Burnett 
Lester Alvin Burnett was born on March 18, 1911, in Summum, Illinois. After graduating high school, he joined a local radio station and worked in vaudeville shows. His friendship with Gene Autry also earned him a spot on the radio show The National Barn Dance. The two also worked together in the 1934 film Old Santa Fe and 80 other westerns. Smiley's true passion was music, and while he could play over 100 instruments, he never learned to read or write music. Despite this hurdle, he created over 300 songs, many of which he sang in western films. Smiley earned the distinction of being the first supporting actor to appear on the top 10 western moneymaker list multiple times. He was also known for his trademark white horse with a black circle around one eye. He married Dallas McConnell on October 25, 1936. They were married until his death and adopted four children. Smiley partially retired from acting in 1953 when the age of Western domination began to end. He bought a drive-in restaurant in Escondido, California called The Checkered Shirt in the 60s. He also made occasional guest appearances on TV, including Ozark Jubilee in 1959. His last performance was as Charlie Pratt, the railroad engineer, on seasons 1 through 4 of Petticoat Junction. He died of leukemia at the age of 55 on February 16, 1967. He received several posthumous honors, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and inductions into the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame, Western Music Association, and Cowton Society of Western Music Hall of Fame. Mike Minor Michael Tone Fetterson was born on December 7, 1940, in San Francisco. He was the son of TV producer Don Fetterson and attended both the University High School of L.A. and the Brown Military Academy in San Diego. Mike started taking voice lessons at the age of 14 and got his first professional singing job at Ye Little Club in Beverly Hills. His first TV appearances included The Donald O'Connor Show in 1954 and The Joey Bishop Show in 1961. He earned the role of Steve Elliott on Petticoat Junction in 1963. Mike's first wife was Monyin Ray Martini. They had one child and were married from July 22, 1961 to May of 1966. He married his co-star, Linda Henning, in September of 1968. They were married for five years until 1973. His last relationship was with Marilyn Minor, whom he married in 1981 and stayed with until his death. Mike appeared on soap operas, including As the World Turns in 1956, All My Children in 1970, and Another World in 1964. He also earned a role on Broadway in 1999 playing Inspector James Asher in A Perfect Crime at the Duffy Theater. Mike Minor died at age 76 on January 28, 2016, in New York City. Byron Folger Byron Folger was born on August 27, 1899, in Ogden, Utah. He graduated from the University of Utah, then began performing with local community theaters and stock and repertory companies. He met his wife, Dorothy Adams, in one of the companies. They had two children, including actress Rachel Ames. Byron's Broadway debut came in a 1920 production of Medea. He starred in other productions, including The Trial of Joan of Arc, Mr. Faust, and Candida. He then acted and directed at the Pasadena Playhouse before moving with his wife to L.A. The couple appeared in hundreds of films in the 30s and 40s. Byron became part of the Preston Sturgis Company of Players and appeared in five classic films, including The Great McGinty in 1940, Sullivan's Travels in 1941, The Palm Beach Story in 1942, The Miracle of Morgan's Creek in 1943, and The Great Moment in 1944. He also starred in five movies that were nominated for a Best Picture Oscar, including Since You Went Away in 1944, The Human Comedy in 1943, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington in 1939, You Can't Take It With You in 1938, and Test Pilot in 1938. He focused on TV in the 50s and 60s, and his final role was as train conductor Wendell Gibbs on Petticoat Junction. Byron Folger died on April 4, 1970, of a heart condition at the age of 71. Ironically, it was the same day that the finale of Petticoat Junction aired. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And keep watching to learn what the surviving Petticoat Junction cast members are doing today. Linda Henning Linda Henning was born on September 16, 1944. Her first role was in an episode of Mr. Ed in 1962. 
She appeared on the Beverly Hillbillies that same year and earned the role of Betty Jo on Petticoat Junction in 1963. She and her TV husband, Mike Minor, were married for five years. Linda Guest starred on several other major shows, including two episodes of Mork and Mindy in 1979 and stints on Happy Days in 1977 and 1984. She essentially retired from acting after five episodes on the show Sliders in 2000. Linda Henning is currently 76 years old and enjoying life with her husband. Lori Saunders Lori Saunders was born on October 4, 1941 in Kansas City, Missouri. Her first acting role came in 1960, where she appeared in five episodes of The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. She also earned a regular spot on Dusty's Trail in 1973. Lori took over for Pat Woodell as Bobby Joe on Petticoat Junction. She made the character a bit more scatterbrained, but also added humor. Lori Saunders is currently 79 years old and living in Southern California with her husband, Bernard Sandler, and their two children, Stacy and Ronald. She uses her free time to pursue hobbies such as photography, sculpture, and painting. Janine Riley Janine Riley was born on October 1, 1940 in Fresno, California. She played Billy Joe on Petticoat Junction during seasons one and two, winning out over 300 competitors. Her other notable roles include Dusty's Trail and her final performance as the landlady in the 1991 film Time Bomb. Janine Riley is 80 years old and thriving. She released a book called The Boulder Woman, It's About Time. Gunilla Hutton Gunilla Hutton was born on May 4, 1954 in Gothenburg, Sweden. She played Billy Joe in season three of Petticoat Junction. She went on to earn a regular role as Nurse Goodbody in the series Hee Haw until 1992. She showed off her singing ability on that show and released several singles, including You Can Say the Prettiest Things Sometimes in 1972, Cowchilla Dust in 1973, and You're Gonna Get Loved in 1974. She appeared in a 2015 MeTV commercial at the age of 75 to promote Petticoat Junction reruns with Linda Henning and Lori Saunders. Ganilla's life wasn't free from controversy. She had an affair with Matt King Cole until he divorced his wife Maria and ended it with her as well. Ganilla is currently in her late 70s and has a daughter named Amber. June Lockhart June Lockhart was born on June 25, 1925 in New York City to actors Jean and Kathleen Lockhart. She began acting at the age of eight, playing Mimsy in a production of Peter Ibbotson at the Metropolitan Opera. The family moved to California in the 30s, and she enjoyed a strong film career. June's first on-screen role was in the 1938 version of A Christmas Carol. She appeared in over 12 movies from then until 1947, when she earned her first Broadway role in For Love or Money. It earned her a standing ovation and critical acclaim. June has won several awards, including a Tony, Donaldson Award, Theater World Award, and an Associated Press Citation for Woman of the Year for Drama. She's also received four stars on the Hollywood Walks of Fame, two for film and two for television. Her TV roles include Lassie in 1954, Lost in Space in 1965, and Petticoat Junction. June was married to John Francis Malone from January of 1951 to April of 1959, and they had two children, Anne and Elizabeth. She married John Carl Lindsay in April of 1959, and they divorced in October of 1970. Jonathan Daly Jonathan Daly was born on January 14, 1942, in Chicago, Illinois. He's an actor and writer known for his work on CPO Sharky in 1976, Adams of Eagle Lake in 1975, and Petticoat Junction in 1963. He also did military talk shows and was part of the comedy team Dolo and Daly with Ken Dolo of The Lawrence Welk Show throughout the 60s. Jonathan is currently 79 years old. His two children, Rad and Jules Daly, also became actors. Petticoat Junction was a classic western that lives on in syndication. Many of its memorable cast members have passed, but others live on to keep its memory alive. Which of these Petticoat Junction cast stories did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.